Small towns can't exist without sharing. Sharing of knowledge, sharing of resources, sharing of expertise. It was, it was just expected, right, that you found your nickels and dimes and quarters and you put them in your pocket before you went to Sunday school. So uh, my youngest son was eight years old at the time and he had just had a birthday and we were, we were moving towards a point where we were to our match. We were trying to get to a point where we would get a $20,000 match from the South Dakota Community Foundation. So um, he must have heard the urgency in my voice when I'm making calls or having conversations. And he uh, said to me one day, he said, um, you know, Mom, I, I want to give my birthday money to the Community Foundation. And I think I should ask my aunts and uncles to do the same. Because he knew that what he gives today is going to continue to give back to the community forever and ever. And so he went to his aunts and uncles who I know would not have given if it not had been for him to ask them. So he raised $600 on his own when he was eight years old. And so that's, that's my story of philanthropy, that if an eight-year-old can do it, we all should be able to do that, right? It's not hard.